At the end of the Second World War, there are a number of prominent and high-ranking members of the Nazi Party, and also the SS, who were brought to trial for their actions. But one man who would not was Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, or the Reichsführer SS, and he was considered one of the most evil men of the conflict. Himmler turned what was Hitler's bodyguard detachment into a machine of slaughter that caused the deaths of millions of people inside of the concentration camps and also across occupied lands. His executioners, or the Einsatzgruppe, shot millions of civilians across the Eastern Front, and many of his crimes today are still not discovered. Himmler decided at the end of the war to try and evade capture, but he was the most wanted man across Europe, and he even tried to save his own skin by making deals to swap prisoners. But Himmler was captured, and he was then held in British captivity, but he then ended his life by consuming a Sinai capsule. The exact circumstances of Himmler's death are rather strange in some ways. However, following his death, he was actually buried, and his remains still exist, it's believed, on Earth. He was buried in secret, and may have even been at one point dug up. Welcome to the Untold Past. Join us today as we look at the missing grave of Heinrich Himmler. And as always, to support our channel, please make sure to click subscribe down below. It was on the 23rd of May 1945 that Heinrich Himmler died inside of British custody. Himmler, the head of the SS, had been on the run, and he then managed to evade capture for some time, but he had little help inside of the Nazi hierarchy to try and escape. He had burned his bridges with many high-ranking Nazis who sought to save themselves, and Hitler had ordered his arrest following his betrayal of trying to negotiate with the Allies. But Himmler was being searched for, and he, along with some SS adjutants, tried to make a run for it. Their plan was to travel across the country and to avoid towns and cities which fell under Allied control and occupation. Near to Bremervorda, Himmler was arrested, and he took steps to make sure that he would not be recognised. He was captured wearing an eye patch and had given himself a new identity, Heinrich Hitzinger, and had false papers. But then he was rather quickly identified inside of an internment camp. Many of the prisoners knew who he really was. It would have been obvious for the prisoners to give him over, and because of this Himmler then asked to meet with the commandant of the camp to give the game up. He admitted who he really was, and the British could not believe that the head of the SS had fallen into their hands, but found on his possession were two small brass capsules. One of these contained a Sinai capsule, and the other was empty. Further searches of Himmler were then ordered, and because of this, he was then transferred to the headquarters of the 2nd British Army, based in Lüneburg, for interrogation. However, whilst he was inside of this house, Himmler then bit down on the missing Sinai capsule, that he had concealed somewhere during the initial search, and within a number of minutes he was dead. There were efforts to try and resuscitate him, however these were not successful. What had happened was that Himmler, a man who had a huge amount of charges against his name, and the man who had overall power responsible for the Holocaust, was now lying dead on the floor. The hope was for him to be brought to a war crimes trial, so more could be learned about the actions of the SS, and he would no doubt, if brought to the Nuremberg trials, would have been sentenced to death for his crimes, and he would have been hanged inside of the Nuremberg gymnasium, alongside those such as Jürgen von Ribbentrop and Ernst Kaltenbrunner. But after his death, there was a death mask cast of Himmler's face. In fact, two were made. One of these was sent to Dwight Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander, and the other was kept hidden by a doctor who cast it. The death mask is very creepy, and it shows Himmler with his eyes closed, with a smirk on his face, as if he is mocking those who captured him, but it offers an insight into the face of the man who was considered one of the world's most brutal war criminals in history. But what happened to the body of the former head of the SS once he had died? There have been some debates about what happened to also his brain. It's claimed that the brain of Himmler was removed, was then sent away to be looked at and assessed. His body was also subjected to an autopsy, and the physicians who did this claimed that the body was that of an adult male, well nourished and physique up to average standard, head size average, symmetrical, very few grey hairs were apparent. The hair had recently been cut, slightly protruding glasses, the hip of the nose is slightly flattened and deviated towards the right, 
The cheeks are not full, mouth not large, and no unusual features are apparent. However, the order was then given to British Army soldiers and personnel to carry out his burial. Today it's believed that the burial site of Heinrich Himmler has been lost to time, but there are some ideas as to where his remains are. He is possibly still buried on earth inside of an unmarked location, unless he has been dug up secretly by neo-Nazi groups. Those men who buried Heinrich Himmler are most probably today dead, however before they died, there were two NCOs who took an editor of a magazine to the spot where they claimed they buried Himmler. This location was kept very secret, as there was a concern that the body of Himmler would be dug up, and that this gravesite would then become a place of pilgrimage, but the British files that document where Himmler was buried are off limits to public access, and they cannot be viewed still for over 20 years, which means they may never be opened. This would of course protect the place of the burial. But it's considered that Heinrich Himmler was actually buried on Lüneburg Heath, a short distance away from the site and house where he died within British captivity. The remains of the Reichsführer SS would have probably been placed inside of a coffin, they would have been driven presumably under the cover of nightfall into the nearby forest where a grave was dug, then his coffin would be placed in the ground. If the coffin was not included in the burial, then his body would have obviously decomposed quicker. But the ground was then covered up, and it would have been attempted to return it to the natural state, so there were no clues as to the fact that a burial had taken place there. Himmler was given no discernible grave marker or obvious headstone. Lüneburg Heath is a huge woodland area in Lower Saxony, meaning over time the burial site has probably become very overgrown. People may have even walked over the body of Himmler, but the area of his burial has also been mentioned as being lost to time. One thing to consider though is another theory, that the British following burying him the first time then may have dug him up again. This could have been down to another post-mortem examination taking place of Himmler's remains, due to the doubt that it may have been a body double who consumed the cyanide. In the years after the Second World War, there were many theories that emerged about certain high-profile Nazis escaping and evading capture or death, so there were further post-mortem analysis taken of Himmler to ensure that this was in fact the head of the SS and not an imposter or a look-alike. The results of this post-mortem are also still classified and beyond the reach of researchers. But some people do believe that Himmler's body, from a second post-mortem, where it was transported to a concentration camp nearby. There is a possibility that his remains were burned inside of a crematoria, and of course the meaning of this would be that the man who caused so much slaughter inside of the concentration camps was in fact burned inside of one. However, this could be debated for a number of reasons, mostly due to the disrespect element that it would have been having Himmler burned in the same ovens as thousands of prisoners who suffered at the hands of his SS. But also one thing to consider is that after the executions of prominent war criminals, such as concentration camp guards, the British buried most of the bodies. For example, following the executions of the guards of Bergen-Belsen, Irma Grazer and Josef Kramer, along with the other brutal guards, were in fact buried inside of the prison courtyard of Hamlin. They were later exhumed, and were buried again, so it would not have been keeping with the tradition of the time inside the British army to have cremated Himmler. But they would also have surely confirmed that this happened, if it did, to put to bed any rumours of Himmler living, and it would have prevented people looking for him and possible conspiracy theorists. However, there are still a number of questions regarding the death of Heinrich Himmler that do exist, and because of the classified files which have not been released, the truth behind the head of the SS's death and burial may never be told. The grave of Himmler is considered a mystery also, as there is a belief that it may still be inside of Lüneburg Heath, and the area which today is a nature reserve. Within a few months, the burial place could have been concealed by new vegetation growing around it. But today inside of Germany, the body of Heinrich Himmler may possibly, and probably still is, lying in the ground inside of the nation, where he rose to power and prominence, and he could be buried under decades of vegetation and growth. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.